Hello and welcome to Fluke Friday. Happy Friday, I hope everybody's doing well. What we have today, in my opinion, is a real treat. I feel like Christmas came early. I feel like Eddie from uh, Christmas Vacation in Walmart when Clark says he's gonna get the kids a nice Christmas. So just thrilled this is gonna be a real, real surprise and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, today what we get the pleasure to do is unbox a new power quality tool from Fluke um, that is brand new to market and I think it's really exciting. Got it in the mail today so let's take a look at the box it came in and we'll go from there. So here's the, tool, the box I got and first thing I noticed comes with a hard case. So let me get this hard case out and then we'll start the video again. Okay, here's the case. This is a big old case. I mean, I guess it's not giant, but it's a it's pretty good, solid. Uh, it's not Pelican branded, but it's like a Pelican case. Very hardy, very strong, and uh, has wheels on it. So you can wheel it through your uh, facility. I think this is gonna be, be really slick. So let's jump into it. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so we're gonna open this case, flip these open, see if I can not hit my stand. And look at this beautiful power quality tool. It's gonna be called the, oh sorry, 1777 Power Quality Analyzer. This is gonna be replacing the um, 430 series. 434, 435, 430, um, 434, 435, 438. Uh, I guess it won't replace the 438 yet. And, but the 434 and 435 it is replacing. So a little bit about it. See a USB-C, a USB, Ethernet out, different um, ports, your voltage measuring ports, your ground, this looks like power input for if you're going to power off of the existing voltage that you're going to be measuring. Wow, and look, it's even better than the 17.3x. 17.3x power supply goes up to 500 volts. This is 600 volts. Holy smokes, this is awesome. Um, in addition to that, we've got you know the CTs that are the new CTs, just like the 1730 series uh, that we can do. And oh goodness. I don't know what this means, but the fact that this says FieldSense here, that makes me excited. I know what FieldSense is. I don't know when that's coming, but uh, that'll be fun. Then auxiliary port, not a surprise. Um, probably something we can get into there in a second. Maybe I'll get that into that. Anyways, maybe I'll get into that later in the video. What else do we get? We get flexible CTs. Uh, up to 1500, 1500 amps. Yep. 1500 amps AC, and you can see 24 inch. So big old CTs um, should work for most of your applications. And obviously, you could get the 3000 or the 6000 version of these if you needed additional CTs or smaller if you wanted. What else does it come with? Oh, just like the 1730 series, beautiful. Comes with this ribbon cable. So the ribbon cable is great because you have four, you know, instead of four more cables, you only have one instead of four for your voltage leads. You still have a lot of leads for the CTs, but at least it reduces the cables four times on the voltage side. That's great. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, your grounding one, your grounding voltage, some, Alligator clips. What else? These are your jumper cables. This is what you're going to use to power it off of what the, the electricity you're actually using to measure. So you'll do something like this. You'll plug these into phase A and B or whatever phase you want. And then you're going to jump her over to this side. And then your your voltage, these that are hooked up with alligator clips measuring voltage on the other end 
will then just plug in right here so you'll ha take the voltage that you're measuring and bring it in and then jumper cable it into the power supply. So that's what these blue ones are for. Sorry, I'm making a mess on the video. Oh, if you want to plug it into an outlet, you want to be old school, you want to run an extension cord across the ground and let a forklift drive it over, not a problem. We'll let you do that still. So again, you would use that and this would just plug in instead of those jumper cables. So you just do like this. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I love these. Have you guys ever seen these? These are awesome. If you're taking voltage regimes on terminal blocks, let me see if I can get that in focus, there you go. This is a magnetic probe that you can stick into a terminal block and have the test lead sticking out this end. So the test lead plugs in like this and then it goes into that terminal block and it'll hold itself. Great way to get voltage without having to use alligator clips and whatnot. And we've got more power cords if you live somewhere else in the world other than the US. And I think that's it. Oh, I did not see this. This is exciting. I don't know how the audio was on there, so I'm gonna repeat myself. I did not see this, this is exciting. This is um, a magnet pack, so the T-Pack, but it's a double one. So you get two of these, oh, if I can do it. And the cool thing about this is, you'll be able to hook this on with this Velcro strap. And I'm guessing, yep, right here. You'll hook it through here, and then you'll actually be able to hang this thing either inside your panel or on the panel door and get it off the ground. That's pretty slick. Oh, I didn't mention this. There is a kickstand. There you go. So you get a kickstand too. That's gonna be all for this unboxing of the 1777, but I will make another video that kind of goes over the features and shows you how, maybe I'll go down to my, my basement, hook it up so you can kind of see it giving you live readings, kind of walk you through how you, the setup's gonna be and some of the features that are gonna make this way more user friendly than the 430 series that it's replacing. I'm excited about this tool and I normally don't get that excited about power quality. So if you're somebody that cares about power quality, you should be very excited about this. Uh, leave it in the comments below if you think this is a tool that you should have in your facility and uh, we'd be happy to help. Have a great weekend. Take care.